the James Webb Space Telescope has made waves in the scientific community, providing researchers with extraordinary insights that challenge everything we thought we knew about the universe. For decades, scientists have been working with a model of the cosmos that suggests the universe is about 13.8 billion years old. However, recent data gathered from the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is showing us something that may change this long-held belief entirely. New evidence points to the possibility that the universe is far older, around 26.7 billion years old, or even more. These discoveries suggest that our understanding of cosmic history may have been built on a series of miscalculations, and it's now clear that we have been overlooking some crucial elements that could reveal a more accurate and complex picture of the universe. The revelations coming from the JWST have sparked a whirlwind of excitement and debate among scientists, as many of the previous assumptions about galaxy formation and the early evolution of the universe are being turned upside down. The implications of these discoveries go far beyond merely adjusting the estimated age of the universe. They force us to reevaluate some of the most fundamental concepts of cosmology, and even physics itself. If the new models hold up under scrutiny, it would suggest that the universe is far more complex and dynamic than we ever imagined. It's important to remember that up until now, the most widely accepted model of cosmology has been the Lambda Cold Dark Matter, Lambda CDM, model. This model, which has dominated our understanding of the universe for decades, posits that the universe began in a singular event known as the Big Bang, approximately 13.8 billion years ago. The Big Bang was a dramatic expansion from an incredibly hot and dense point, and as the universe expanded, it cooled down. During the first few minutes, the simplest elements, such as hydrogen and helium, were created through a process known as nucleosynthesis. Following this, the universe entered a period known as the Dark Ages, which lasted for several hundred million years. During this time, there were no stars or galaxies, and the universe was shrouded in darkness. Eventually, gravity began to pull matter together, and the first stars and galaxies started to form. These early galaxies were small, high in star formation rates, and very different from the galaxies we observe today. It was believed that these galaxies emerged about 400 million years after the Big Bang, starting a process of cosmic reionization that would end the Dark Ages and allow light to travel freely across the universe. This theory, based on the Lambda CDM model, formed the basis of our understanding of the early universe for many years. But as data from the James Webb Space Telescope has shown, this entire model may need to be revised. One of the most surprising revelations from the JWST is the discovery of galaxies that seem to be far more evolved than scientists thought was possible at such early stages of the universe. These galaxies contain not only massive stars of the first generation, as expected, but also a mix of stars of different ages, suggesting that they've been around for much longer than previously believed. This challenges the timeline of galaxy formation and forces scientists to rethink their models. The implications of this discovery are far-reaching. If galaxies this advanced could have formed so soon after the Big Bang, it suggests that the Big Bang might have occurred much earlier than we previously thought. This would imply that the universe is far older than 13.8 billion years. This is a significant shift in our understanding, as it would force us to rethink much of the history of the cosmos. Alternatively, it's possible that these galaxies formed much faster than we had expected. If this is the case, it could indicate that there are aspects of cosmic evolution that we still don't fully understand, and that galaxies are capable of forming in ways we hadn't anticipated. Another possibility, which has been gaining traction among some scientists, is that the galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope may not have originated in our current universe at all. Instead, it's possible that these galaxies come from a predecessor universe, or even from a parallel universe that exists alongside our own. This idea may sound far-fetched, but it's not entirely out of the realm of possibility. The concept of a multiverse, where multiple universes exist in parallel, is a theory that has been suggested by physicists in recent years. If this is the case, it could completely change our understanding of not only the universe's history, but the very nature of reality itself. To understand how we arrived at these new conclusions, 
we need to take a deeper look at the data that the James Webb Space Telescope has provided. One of the most important aspects of the telescope's observations is its ability to detect high redshift galaxies. Redshift is a phenomenon that occurs when light from an object in space is stretched to longer wavelengths as the object moves away from us. This stretching of light is a key indicator of how fast an object is receding from us, and by measuring the redshift of galaxies, scientists can determine their distance and age. The higher the redshift, the farther away and older the galaxy is. The James Webb Space Telescope's ability to observe galaxies at higher redshifts than any previous telescope has allowed scientists to see the universe in a way they never could before. The data from the JWST has revealed that there are galaxies at redshifts that are much higher than we expected, and these galaxies appear to be far more evolved than we would have anticipated at such early stages. This is a major challenge to the current Lambda CDM model, which suggests that galaxies should take billions of years to form. The fact that these galaxies exist so early in the universe's history suggests that either the Big Bang happened earlier than we thought, or that galaxies can form much more quickly than we had previously believed. This discovery has prompted scientists to consider three main possibilities. First, it's possible that the Big Bang occurred much earlier than we originally thought, and that the universe is significantly older than the 13.8 billion years we've assumed. This would mean that the timeline of cosmic history needs to be revised, and that our understanding of the early universe is flawed. Second, it's possible that galaxies form much more quickly than we thought. If this is the case, it would suggest that galaxy formation is a far more rapid process than previously understood, and that the early universe was far more dynamic than we've given it credit for. Finally, there's a third possibility, the galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope may not belong to our universe at all. Instead, they could come from a different, parallel universe, or from a universe that existed before a current one. The idea of a multiverse, where multiple universes exist alongside our own, is a concept that has gained traction in recent years. This theory suggests that there could be an infinite number of universes, each with its own set of physical laws and constants. If this is true, then the galaxies observed by the James Webb Space Telescope could have originated in one of these parallel universes, rather than our own. This idea is still speculative, but it offers a tantalizing glimpse into a far more complex and mysterious cosmos than we've ever imagined. To fully appreciate the significance of these findings, it's important to understand how the discoveries of the James Webb Space Telescope are challenging some of the most basic principles of cosmology. One of the key features of the current Lambda CDM model is the concept of cosmic expansion. According to this model, the universe has been expanding ever since the Big Bang, with galaxies moving away from each other as space itself stretches. This expansion is thought to be uniform, meaning that galaxies should be moving away from us in all directions at the same rate. However, the observations made by the James Webb Space Telescope are suggesting that this expansion may not be as uniform as we once thought. In particular, scientists have observed an unexpected phenomenon known as angular expansion in distant galaxies. Angular expansion refers to the apparent size of an object as seen from Earth. Normally, we expect that as galaxies get farther away, they will appear smaller in our telescopes due to the stretching of light. However, at higher redshifts, scientists are observing that the apparent size of galaxies is actually increasing. This is a puzzling observation as it suggests that the universe may have expanded in a non-uniform way at earlier stages of its history. This discovery has profound implications for our understanding of the universe's expansion. If the expansion of the universe was not uniform, it could mean that the fundamental properties of the universe have changed over time. This could lead to a new understanding of cosmic history and the forces that have shaped the universe's evolution. The discovery of angular expansion in distant galaxies also supports the idea that our current cosmological models may be incomplete, and that we need to rethink the way we understand the expansion of the universe. At the heart of these new ideas is the work of Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, who, in the early 20th century, proposed a theory known as the tired light hypothesis. Zwicky suggested that the redshift of light from distant galaxies might not be due to the expansion of the universe as Edwin Hubble had proposed, 
but rather to the loss of energy by the light over vast distances. According to Zwicky's theory, as light travels through space, it loses energy and shifts toward the red end of the spectrum. This could explain the redshift observed in distant galaxies without the need to invoke the expansion of the universe. Zwicky's theory was largely ignored during his time, but recent discoveries have brought his ideas back into the spotlight. By combining Zwicky's tired light hypothesis with the concept of varying coupling constants, a researcher named Rendra Gupta has developed a new model for the age of the universe. Gupta's theory suggests that fundamental constants such as the speed of light, Planck's constant, and the gravitational constant may not have remained the same throughout the history of the universe. Instead, they may have varied over time, leading to a more dynamic and complex view of the cosmos. Gupta's work has important implications for the age of the universe. His calculations suggest that the universe could be as old as 26.7 billion years, or even older, depending on the variations in these fundamental constants. If Gupta's theory is correct, it would mean that our understanding of the universe's age is fundamentally flawed, and that we need to reconsider our entire approach to cosmology. This new perspective is just one of many that is emerging as a result of the James Webb Space Telescope's observations, and it could pave the way for a revolution in our understanding of the universe and the fundamental forces that govern it. As we continue to process the incredible data from the James Webb Space Telescope, it's clear that the universe is far more mysterious and complex than we ever imagined. The discoveries made so far are just the beginning, and there's still much more to learn. What we thought we knew about the cosmos is being rewritten, and it's exciting to think about what new truths will be revealed in the years to come. Whether the universe is 13.8 billion years old, 26.7 billion years old, or even older, one thing is certain, our understanding of the cosmos is undergoing a dramatic transformation. The future of cosmology is brighter than ever, and we are on the brink of a new era in our exploration of the universe.